The ten derangers in the Rory series books, even though they have a variety of their own, almost all of them have one thing that is a common sight. That common sight is a flower style tender that can hold up to 3,500 gallons of water, and is designed by Henry Fowler. Engines that have utilized this tender were, of course, Edward, James, Gordon, and unless you want to count him, Henry. Now, all four of these characters, specifically in the books, have that tender style featured on them, whether it's early on or later on into the Rowie series. Now, there are some that find the fire tenders completely okay, where there are others that would have ideas of their own when making models or alter interpretation of Thomas characters, as they would experiment with other tender types in their own alternate universes. Even the unlucky Tug would share his thoughts on the fire tender being behind bigger engines like Gordon, going as far as calling the fire tender Dinky when behind a free body, as he was modeling Gordon. Again, none of that Fowler tender nonsense. I'm just not a fan of how that dinky thing looks behind an A3 body. Which enforces that people have preferences of their own, but it comes down to how they envision their interpretation of a certain character. But where do I stand on this topic? Well, uh, kind of mixed. And today, I will go over a few points on which characters I think the Fowler Tender suits, which characters it doesn't. And I'll be going through some comments that have suggested other ideas, or have come with their own explanation for the Fowler Tenders. Now, before I start, I just want to say that anything I say outside of Railway Series lore, fact, or speculation are solely opinions of my own. Since, if you ask me, there's not much of a right or wrong answer on how you want to view the Fowler Tenders. You're allowed to view them in any way you like, as I am allowed to view them in any way I like. But anyways, let's get into the video. So, there are two characters that I think the Fowl Tender would likely suit, and those two would be Edward and James. To give you a better perception of my point of view, I'll be using these blueprints I found and use them as a basis to explain why I think the Fowl Tender looks great on both Edward and James. Now, before I start, you may notice that I'm using a different basis for Edward, and you point out that this is not a Furnace Railway K2, and you're right, it's a D40. And the reason why I use this is, one, I couldn't really find any blueprints of the K2 by the Furnace Railway, and second, the LNER D40 was the clothes I got to Edward, and it matches Edward's appearance in the illustrations. So yeah, I'm just gonna use this as Edward, until the actual Furnace Railway K2 blueprints comes out at least. But on to this, what I'll do is, I'll place the original tenders the foul tenders, and by what I'm looking at right now, it appears that the Fowler Tenders do somewhat match with Edward and James. Not only does the size perfectly aligns, but the front edge of the tender matches with the back end of the locomotive's cabs. And hence why I believe the Fowler Tenders match both Edward and James. Now. I'm not really good at explaining why I think it looks good, but I'm showing you what I'm seeing from my point of view when I'm trying to put a tender behind a full throw and a modified 060 converted 260. Now I'm done with Edward and James, let's get to Gordon and Henry. So here are the side by side photos of a Hornby Black 5 for Henry and a Hornby A3 for Gordon. Now, before I start, I don't recommend doing this digitally because then you have a hard time trying to scale the models properly. I would highly recommend that you get the official Hornby models of the A3 and the Black 5, remove their original tenders if possible, and then just slap the foul tenders on, then you can draw your own conclusion. But for this, I'll be using Sketchbook to give you my point of view. But first things first, we'll remove the original tenders, and then... Uh yeah, this is where I point out issues I have with the foul tender behind both Henry and Gordon. Starting out with Henry, the obvious issue I have of him with a foul tender is that the foul tender is way way too small. Not in terms of just length or matching his cap, but also its height. So the foul tender for me doesn't work for Henry, simply because it's far too small. But getting onto Gordon, my problem is that some portions of his cap doesn't align with the front half of the foul tender, making him look a little dinky as a result. Other than the fact that the foul tender also lacks the proper height to even match 
in a free. Now while I was in sketchbook taking around these images, I decided to edit the Black 5 tender behind the A3 body. And I'll say, this is perfect. Not only does the portion match, but it also fits the A1 as well. Even by this Instagram post by Harold, Gordon really looks good with that Stanier tender. Now, I'm going to assume that some of you are probably going to say, Oh, why not give him a group standard tender? Oh, why not give him a coro tender? Well, um, here's why. According to the Railway Series book, Enterprise the Engines, and the iOS book, Gordon was sent to Crew to be rebuilt in 1939. I had a rebuild at Crew. They didn't do a proper Doncaster job, of course, but it serves. And since Crew was under the LMS, this meant that the group standard tender and the corridor tender by the LNER were not an option for Gordon due to the fact when he was fitted with a new tender, he was at Crew Works under the LMS. Now one community post by me about the foul tenders, I remember this user, the Sudrian Terrier 653, commented that I'd say since Reginald Payne was a silver man, these tenders in the illustrations were supposed to be monster tenders. To be honest, I actually like this idea actually, given that Reginald Payne was a southern man and made Thomas E2 because of that, it makes sense that he would either, he had a reference image of a foul tender but mistook it for a monster tender, or he was shown a model of a foul tender but intentionally decided to go with a monster tender. Given that he's a southern man, it would only make sense how he would illustrate the tenders as monsoons over fowers. And honestly, the idea of the monsoon tenders being behind engines like Henry or Gordon is not really a bad idea. However, what I discover is that through Sojourn Rail's Hybrid Series James video, he said in his own words, But as of recent, there has been a debate about whether said tenders were illustrated as Fowler tenders or Monsel tenders. And finding out that there's been a debate going on between whether said tenders are Fowler or Monsel is really interesting given that people are now discussing gateways to alternatives. Now, in the fandom, some people have tried to come to their own explanation to see if they can clear the air with the Fowler tenders. One in particular said that because of Sodor's size, the NWR wouldn't need any bigger tenders due to the fact they wouldn't need to carry as much coal and water due to the mainline's short distance, as well as Sodor being a small island, hence nullifying the need for any bigger tenders. Now, this explanation could work in the railway series, given we've only seen tender engines of the NWR with tenders smaller than the Stania or Corridor tenders. However, in the TV series, is where I point out some cons with this explanation, due to the fact we later see tender engine characters that have tenders that are bigger or different from the Fowler tenders. If in the TV show, Soro was as small as it's said to be, how can engines like Murdoch, Hero, Hank, Connor, Caitlin, and even Henry, who has a different tender compared to how he's later illustrated in both Wilbert and Christopher's books. Like, why decide that bigger tenders were not needed, but yet allow engines like Murdoch and even Hero to have bigger tenders? For me, this makes sense that this explanation works within the Railway series, but kind of falls flat within the TV series. So, what's my conclusion to this? Well, it's simply this. Even though the foul tenders were heavily featured in the railway series, and people are content with them, that doesn't mean that people won't have ideas of their own, especially when they make their own headcanon or alternate universe of Thomas the Tank Engine. Because when an alternate universe is made, or a headcanon is made, they will have ideas on how they want already existing characters in Thomas to look like, and how they think they should be in their own universe, and that's fine. I'd say that people have a right to decide what tenders belong to the big engines and not have it decided for them just because people are content with the flower tenders. 